Hello. Welcome to Postcolonial Space. I'm Masood Raja, and today I'll briefly talk about the significance of Heart of Darkness as a book to teach empathy. And of course, part of the reason I'm uh, insisting on Heart of Darkness and its uh, utility as a text to teach empathy is not necessarily that the novel is inherently good for this purpose, but because it is a highly canonized novel, it is taught in high schools, it is taught in college classrooms, a lot of people recommend it to each other. So that's the reason I uh, am trying to encourage that this novel, despite the criticism of it, can be mobilized to this good purpose of teaching empathy to our students. Now, just recently, I conducted a live webinar, and it will show up there, um, on uh, literary studies and creation of empathy, in which I relied on my colleague and friend Mark Brocker's work on empathy and critical pedagogy. And then I went on to record uh, a brief summary and analysis of Heart of Darkness itself. And I realized while I was doing that that I was using Achebe's critique of Heart of Darkness, and in that critique, the question of agency is huge. And I have a video on agency which you can also watch. But in the process of looking at the text from the point of view of the native agency and how they are represented, one probably tends to forget that the novel still has a huge potential, if taught carefully, to generate empathy in our students for their local and global others. And let me explain how. Okay, so if you watch my webinar on empathy and literary studies, uh, what I argued there through Mark Brocker's work was that in, there are so many ways in which our perceptions of others are formed. And some of those ways are only on the semantic level of language, and some of them are deeper in our consciousness, which rely on what Brocker calls prototypes. And prototype is a kind of archetype which is developed in our consciousness about a group about a constituency and it is fixed. And whenever we encounter a person from that category and that group, that prototype immediately is invoked. So in order to change our views of another constituency, no amount of facts and knowledge can accomplish that unless that prototype is complicated. Now what Brocker suggests is that one of the most effective ways of enhancing that prototype and making it capable of recognizing the other as the same is through literary text when we read a text in which another group is represented, a group that would otherwise be considered completely other, and then find common human elements in it, human elements that the reader can share and say, I feel that, I have experienced that, or that would be terrible if someone did that to me, right? And if we could point to those, and if the students and readers can then see that despite this huge prototypical difference, there are so many things they share in common with this group, this constituency that they would have otherwise considered completely different, that creates a space in that prototype, in their schemas of consciousness to engage with this other as a fellow human being, right? So that's roughly the technique. I'm kind of simplifying it to teach empathy. Now, think of Heart of Darkness. We know already, if we look at it from the point of view of agency, that the African characters are in it are mostly silent. They are represented as you know, passive recipients of the colonial violence, right? But throughout the novel, Marlowe, the narrator, also gives us his own opinion of them. And through his opinion, we know that he deeply sympathizes with their plight, right? And he's critical of it, right? 
and that we also know that these people who have been enslaved, right, they labor constantly, they suffer pain just like any other human being does, and that that suffering then would enable any teacher or a student to see into that our common human suffering by relating to what is happening to them and asking yourself, you know, I won't like it if it happened to me, right? And that is what would open the space for a sympathetic reading of the text, but for feeling empathy for these probably absolutely foreign characters for them. And if they do that, if they enter into that empathetic mode, what Brocker's research indicates is that then and only then when they enter the world and they see people of African origin, the schemas of their brain, right, in their consciousness would have shifted and where then they will be able to see them as their fellow equal human beings. Only then would this idea of sympathizing with characters in a novel to sympathizing with real life people would actually become a reality. So that is why I think, uh, and part of all uh, reason also Heart of Darkness is crucial is because it, it is a sort of a sentimentalist novel, right? It invokes those feelings of, let's say, problematic, but pity, sympathy, empathy for the characters, African characters who are being tortured, overworked, neglected by those who have power over them. So it already has those ingredients in it for us as teachers of literature to point to those things and hence enable our students to develop first a sort of sympathy and then empathy for them. Now remember, empathy relies on sympathy, but it is slightly a broader feeling. You know, It incorporates the idea of trying to understand something from the point of view of the other, placing yourself in the shoes of the other. So I think Heart of Darkness as a novel, if carefully taught, if not just taught from one perspective or from the old bourgeois perspectives of, oh, Africa is just a backdrop and this was not con no. If taught in which we constantly talk about the plight of the African characters, they're even their silencing, right? But what does that do to them? And how do we as readers feel about it? And that deep down the text always encourages us to look at these African characters as fellow human beings, okay? There are so many places where Marlowe despite pointing out to the differences between himself and the Africans on the riverbank in the camps, acknowledges that what was troubling to him was their humanity, right? So Marlowe within the narration already is looking at these African characters as fellow human beings. And by pointing to that, and then by pointing to what is happening to those fellow human beings, we can mobilize the novel as a tool in creating empathy in our students and in ourselves for the characters so far away from them. But if you live in America, it's not like there are no African Americans here. It's not like there is no problem within American cultural right now, right? and racism is growing, right? So I think by carefully using the techniques as uh, articulated by Mark Brocker or any other critical theory uh, scholars of pedagogy, we can still use a text like Heart of Darkness to teach empathy, to teach empathetic behavior, and, and to teach care of the others. And try doing that. Right? Now that it doesn't take away from the idea of our critique as post-colonialists of Heart of Darkness, but I think the novel does have the potential to be instrumentalized in the service of humanity as a wonderful story that can enable us to teach 
empathy. That's all I have to say today. Uh, please do watch my video on Heart of Darkness as well as on Achebe's indictment of it. And if you have time, do look up uh, the webinar on uh, empathy and literary studies, and it might be useful to you. If you have any questions, concerns, please send them my way, and I'll be happy to address them. And as always, please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, so that you get timely notifications. And overall, of course, I'm grateful to you for your time, and I will be back with some other lecture on some other topic. Until then, please take care and peace and love.